Hi, I'm Joanne and thanks for joining me again at Crafting with Confidence. Have you ever wanted to make something just because, not that you really needed it? Well, a while back, I promised a dear friend of mine that I would sew her a special dress. After setting up my mannequin according to her measurements, I decided a Jane Austen inspired empire dress would be perfect as we both love all of her novels. Simplicity has a nice pattern for these, and while I was at Hobby Lobby in the US, I found this beautiful shimmery satin. The top section of this dress required some matching lining and was one of the trickier parts to sew, but my mannequin helped me feel confidence in the sizing as I progressed along. And stitching the long skirt sections was just easy and fun to do. After gathering the skirt slightly on the sides and back, I also needed to add in a couple of darts on top after my friend tried on the basted version of the dress. There's another confidence booster. Try things on as you go. A couple of small darts were needed in the back as well and a 20 inch zipper. The special zipper foot makes sewing zippers much easier as you can create seams close to the ridge and a hook and eye at the top finished the back nicely. Next will come the two sleeves and hemming the bottom. Here's puff sleeve number one and number two with a pretty ribbon wrapped around the high waistline. I'm starting to get that Jane Austen feeling, aren't you? To anchor the waistline ribbon, I used embroidery cotton to crochet an eight stitch chain, leaving long ends on each side, which I could then sew into the dress on the two side seams. And for the hem, I sewed on a wide ribbon to even things out and then hand stitched and pressed the final hem. Here's the Jane Austen dress, simple yet elegant, which I'm excited to give to my friend. Wouldn't you like to try creating such a pretty pattern? If you have your fabric all cut, then I think you could make one of these over the course of a weekend too. And by the way, I'm thinking of making a second one now for myself using this color. Stay tuned. I appreciate you watching this latest video and hope you've subscribed to my channel so you can continue learning about other rewarding projects I can walk you through creating. See you next time.